Hello, my name's John and welcome to my food channel. Today we are going to make beetroot tart. So we're using puff pastry, garlic, red onion, green capsicum, creamy feta cheese and black olives. And of course the star or the hero will be beetroot. Oh, and of course where would we be without our extra virgin olive oil? This is a very simple meal. Uh, it simply involves stacking the puff pastry with these ingredients. We're going to caramelize the red onion and the garlic first and then we'll get started. But it's a nice easy meal to make, great as a snack. Right, starting with the beetroot, we will boil that for around about 20-25 minutes. Don't overcook it because we want it still quite firm. Then put it in some cold water like I have here, but then you're going to cut it up into strips. Toss it in some uh, balsamic vinegar and sugar and just roast it uh, gently for about 20 minutes um, and then we'll pull it out and we'll start placing it onto the puff pastry. Right, we're now going to slice the beetroot. Hopefully nothing else will go wrong. Um, and we're just going to... It's a bit wide there so we're just... And you want them sort of chunky, not, not too chunky. Remember, this is going to be sort of nibbles type of size. So. And we do want it to roast really quickly. And there, by the way, I've got balsamic vinegar, about two tablespoons and raw sugar, about two tablespoons. And we're going to toss those. Oh, that was a good idea, choosing a white board to um, slice these beetroot up. It'll be a lot of fun getting that back to white later on. So, we're just going to get our hands in there um, should make it nice and tricky to turn the camera off uh, <laughs> and there we have it it's all it's all ready to be roasted about 20 minutes 180 degrees and that should do it right there we have the garlic and the red onions all chopped up ready to go in the frying pan and this is the garlic and the red onions sitting in a frying pan enjoying themselves in boiling oil. Um, we're going to caramelise these uh, and then we're almost ready I think once the beetroot is cooked to start assembly. Very exciting. Alright so here we have the puff pastry all ready to receive all the delicious ingredients but first we're going to score it so, not all the way through, just slightly. And when it comes out of the oven, you'll see what a difference this makes. And now, before we put anything on there, we're just going to brush that lightly with some olive oil and then we'll start loading it and then we'll come back. Okay, we've loaded everything on there except the feta. Some of it obviously <laughs> didn't make it onto here because it didn't end up in my mouth first. Um, but if there are any other cooks watching, you'll know exactly what I mean. Um, if you're the one that gets to cook, um, you can eat as many of the ingredients as you want along the way. 
if anyone challenges you on that, just say John said you could. All right. All right, that's the feta. This is going into the oven. And I'm already eating this before it's even cooked in my mind. Because this is just going to be great. And it's such an easy snack to make. So there you have it. It's into the oven. When, uh, when it comes out and it's ready to cut up, I expect you all round to my place. And there you have it, straight out of the oven. Oh, this is such a nice wee snack. Take this. <laughs> go and hide somewhere. <laughs> there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, make this at home. It's not hard. Um, and it's extremely yummy. Catch you on the next recipe.